Hi guys, this is Jen from Scan and Cut Jam Sessions. What this tutorial is going to be is how to create your own logo that you can put on t-shirts. You can turn into car vinyl. Um, you can use it to make your, um, what's it called, your watermark across the projects that you put out onto the internet. You can pretty much use it for anything. Um, your Facebook banner. Wherever you can put something, you will be able to use this logo. Um, what you will want to do is you will want to find, um, like, it's considered free, but um, because this is going to be your logo, you are really going to want to research um, the type of clip art or the image that you have to make sure that you are actually legally allowed to use it. Um, what I try to do is I try to find old pictures like from way back, way back before copyright, all those laws came out. Um, so you don't have to worry about that. And then when you use fonts, um, believe it or not, some of the fonts that people create, um, they do have verbiage in there um, regarding the use of their fonts um, in logos and things like that. So you'll want to read that. Um, and then, you know, if you know the designer of your fonts, um, get a hold of them and just ask them so that you can be really sure that, you know, you're not violating um, any of their rules. Because, you know, after you put all this work into designing this, you don't want to get in any trouble. You know, that's not what you're doing. You're not trying to break any rules. You're just trying to make something that looks really good. Um, so after you do that, and really that's not a whole lot to do, um, then you can jump right in and this is actually a lot of fun to do. So let's get started. Um, for me, I use both of the dragonfly um, and the butterfly. So I'm going to come in here, I'm going to choose, um, I think I'm going to go with the dragonfly. Okay, so after the program freezing for a little bit, I pulled the dragonfly up. I'm going to crop so I don't have the excess background because the background in old images tends to be brown um, so if you can eliminate some of that you want to do that crank up your detail if your object has a lot of detail and then start messing around with the numbers okay <clears throat> and then if they have a lot of um, variances like this is the wings are pretty much clear and the body is black <clears throat> excuse me <clears throat> sometimes going with lower numbers gives you a better result so you just kind of want to tweak the numbers a little bit <clears throat> excuse me until it gets where you want it where you think is good and I kind of happen to like that just about right there okay so I'm gonna go ahead and I'll click OK Let's bring it in and see what it looks like. Okay. Now I'm going to come over here. And I'm going to click off of that. Ah, beautiful. I like that. Okay. So this is going to be um, my main image. Maybe make it a little bit longer there. Okay get it centered to where you want and again if yours is a you know a yarn thread whatever it is that's how you bring it in you'll trace it in <clears throat> or if you have it saved as an SVG bring it in as an SVG all right so now hit <laughs> now we are to the spot where you are going to add your um, logo your words across your design here um, so you're going to go in and you're going to pick your font. Now remember about the licensing that goes along with your um, fonts. You want to research that um, to make sure that it is okay that you use it. You don't want to go through this whole process um, and then find that it's not legal. All right. Okay, so I just 
did mine there. So let's go ahead and bring this back up this way. Okay. Let me hide this down here. Alright. So I'm going to park that over here. I'm going to bring this up. I'm going to stretch it out. I'm going to try to bring it as close to a 12 by 12 as possible. And also, you know, you can pull out your 12 by 24 mat and do it on there if you want to as well. Um, as long as you have this saved um, on your little USB stick, you can turn it into whatever size you like. Um, as long as your, you know, cutter or whatever you do with it will support it. Okay. Now we're going to bring this up here. All right. And now is when I'm going to start stretching. Get it where I want. Okay, I'm also going to come over here. And I'm going to change the color. Because I like bright contrasting colors. Okay. And we might even bold it up a little bit. There we go. Let's see. It's kind of crowded over there. So let's pop it this way a little bit. All right. Okay, so right now what you can do is you can go ahead and head on in. And you can save this and use this as your, save this as a JPEG and you can use this as your banner um, for, uh, what's that called, like your Facebook page. Um, now, uh, when you decrease the workspace alpha, what that is, is you can um, use that for your um, watermark. Um, as you see, I'm just decreasing it, and that decreases the shading. So this you can use as your watermark. You can save it like that. Um, you can make it even lighter. Of course, you know, yours might not have all of these little marks because yours will be made different than mine. Um, so that is how you make your watermark, by using the workspace alpha. Um, and then if you want to do your uh, vinyl, what you're going to do is you are going to use the layer, the page layer. So you're going to come in here and you're going to create the second page. Okay. And you're going to pick either or. You can pick the top layer or the bottom layer. doesn't matter. The words or the shape. Send layer page to. And that will send it directly to that second page in the same exact position it was on the first page. So... When you save, so you're going to come in, you're going to do your export, dot, 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 save it to your stick. You're going to come into here, do your export. When you pull them up on your cutter, up on the scan and cut, it will come up exactly in the same position. So you do not have to worry about um, moving them around unless you want to. However, pay attention to this statement. When you move them on the machine, they are no longer going to be in the exact same position unless you use um, your mat marks, okay, um, these little marks that are here on our mat. Um, if you want to use them to measure out where they're at, that is how I do it, okay. If I do need to move things around when I do this, um, I call it the uh, layer page save, when I do that, if I need to move this, let's say I'm moving it over a little bit for something, I will come to the second page and I will do the exact same thing using the marks on my mat. Okay, so on the screen mat. All right, so that is how you will do that for your um, for your vinyl. If you want to do it HTV, the heat transfer vinyl, and for the vinyl transfers on your car. Okay, so that is how we go about making um, logos for ourselves. Um, it is super easy in here. I really like it. So you can do that for your Facebook page. You can do it for your car vinyl. You can do it for clothing. Um, anything you can think of, you can now make your own logo. And it is so fun and it is so easy. So you guys, 
do it and I, I would really love to see it if you would like to share it with me on, on our page, okay? Thanks, guys.